Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren and this week I've made a satin cow neck slip dress. This is going to be perfect for the holiday season with Christmas parties and New Year's Eve just around the corner. This is the last video for 2019 so let's get to it. I started by making a simple pattern so I've drawn a smaller version out here so I can show you how I went about it. I began with a large rectangle which was going to be the front of my dress and the width was a few centimetres wider than the widest part of my body which was my hips and the length was dependent on how long you wanted the dress to be starting at the chest and working down. I then added on 20 centimetres to the length of that dress which is going to be folded over at the top to make the cow neck. I drew a dashed line to mark out where the top of the 20 centimetres were and then I could work on making the main section of my dress. Along the dashed line I measured out in about 5 centimetres from both sides and then measured down 15 centimetres to create the curve where the arm would be. Below this I drew in a rough waist shape so it wouldn't just be an unflattering tube. When cutting out my pattern I folded over the 20cm section and then I was able to cut both pieces at the same time to make sure that that top section was identical to the section below it when it came to having the curve of the arms as that's going to be sewn together in the end. To create the back section of the dress I started by drawing around the dress shape that I already had and starting from the underneath arm curve I traced around the bottom section and then finished it with a line across the top. I also created a rectangle band as you can see in the image now which will then become sewn to the back piece which will secure the straps to the back of the dress. And it should piece together as easy as that, hopefully. Now to my full size pattern pieces. I simply began by cutting the front and the back pieces of the dress out and also created four long rectangles around 7.5 centimetres wide to make the straps. I folded them in half lengthways and then sewed them right sides together, sealing one end off and using a loop turner or a safety bin to pull them the right way out. I laid down the front piece of the dress and folded the 20 centimeter piece over so the right sides were together and then clipped the straps sandwiched down between the right sides ready to be sewn in place. I also clipped down the seams too. Since the fabric is very light and could be easily snagged I decided to use clips instead of pins so I didn't risk pulling at the fabric and I made sure to use lots of them since this fabric's pretty slippy and I didn't want it falling out and going wrong either. In order to get a seamless finish along the inside of the arms, I top stitched along the inside seam and attached the seam allowance to the inside of the dress. This is a bit fiddly but it's definitely worth it in the end. To complete the back half of the dress, I found the centre of the dress so my straps would be evenly spaced and then clipped the straps onto the dress so they could be sandwiched between the two pieces with both facing right sides together and then sewn straight across the top. I also finished the back off by sewing the seam allowance to the shorter piece on the inside so the fabric would lie flat on the outside similar to how I'd done on the front piece of the dress. To attach the two pieces together I started by laying them one on top of each other right sides facing inwards. I needed to add a zipper to my dress so I sewed a straight line down one side uh, starting from the underarm and sewing down to the bottom of the dress and then added a zipper into the other side. I don't seem to have a clip showing how to insert an invisible zipper, however there's lots of videos out there showing how to do this and I also go over it in my quarter circle skirt video which I'll link in the cards above and also below. 
to finish the zipper off I just simply hand sewed the two end pieces of the zipper to the inside of my dress. Once I'd sewn my two sides together I finished the bottom of the dress with a simple rolled hem. Then I was done. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased with how this dress has turned out. I normally avoid working with slippery fabrics like this stretch satin. However, I'm really surprised with the, the result and definitely looking forward to wearing this over the Christmas holidays. Thank you to everyone who has watched and liked my videos throughout 2019 and thank you to all my new subscribers as well. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll be back posting in 2020. Bye!